heaven, you're here. Lady Chai, whatever is the matter? I... I knew not where else to turn. Oh, this is all too much for my poor heart to bear alone. Alone? What of Master Chai? But that is the very reason I summoned you. He's gone! What? What happened? It all began after the events at Mount Golg. With Lord Vorthry out of the way, we all agreed that a new leader must be chosen. And so you held an election? Yes. Well, sort of. Not a single person volunteered to stand, you see. After a lifetime of leisure, we free citizens have grown somewhat indolent. Readapting to the harsh realities of life is trying enough, but to take charge of a broken city as well. No one wanted such responsibility. Nevertheless, Yulemore could not well do without a leader, and so we decided that anyone and everyone should be considered a candidate. And after we cast our ballots and tallied the votes, the mayorship fell upon my dear husband. Well, given the manner in which he orchestrated the construction of the giant Talos, none could deny his leadership qualities. But even before then, he had proven himself at Daedalus Stoneworks, don't forget. He is more than qualified for the role. The perfect choice. Indeed. I told him as much when his victory was first announced. But perhaps I was too forceful in my attempt to encourage him. For shortly after that, he vanished without a word. <laughs> you believe he was so daunted by the burden of leadership that he felt compelled to flee? Please, Lady Chai, dry your eyes. Your husband does not strike me as the sort of man who would abandon his duty, much less his beloved wife. There has to be some other reason for his absence. You... you truly think so? What about you? What do you think has become of my husband? Nay, my friend. The one thing he has not done is flee. Of that I am convinced. Through the most testing of times, he has ever remained at Lady Chai's side, placing her happiness before his own. He would not abandon her now. Wherever he may have gone, rest assured we will find him. Thank you, my dear boy. You have set my mind at ease. I will trust in my husband and await his return.
Well, well, it's you again. Well, I see you've invited your friends. Need them to fight your battles for you, do you? No, I, I, I didn't invite them, as it happens. Uh, though they are indeed my friends. Well, not only mine, but every true Yulmorans. They are the ones who awakened us to the truth, to Lord Forthree's villainy, the famous warriors of darkness. Well, are they now? Yes, they are. It would be no exaggeration to call them our saviors. We owe much and more to their kindness, but we cannot depend on that kindness forever. To do so would be a little different from entrusting our affairs to Lord Vorthry. Nay, we must learn to stand on our own two feet. And I would have them present to witness my attempt. Hear, hear, Master Chai. Your sentiments are admirable. Yet admirable sentiments do not a nation make. In my capacity as advisor, I once strove to build a better Yulmore. Gave honest counsel to my superiors, drafted laws for the benefit of one and all. But in time, my values fell out of favor. There was no need for them in this paradise Vorthree was creating. And so I left my homeland behind. But you, Chai News, you were content to wallow in indolence under Vorthri's auspices. And so I cannot help but ask myself what manner of nation you intend to build. I... Uh, I can offer no simple answer to that question. This much I will say. It is my hope that Yulmor can become a nation which her citizens might freely choose to build together. A great many people, myself included, flocked to Yulmor seeking sanctuary. The alternative being to live in fear and die in pain. It seemed an easy choice. And sanctuary we found, as much food and drink as we could ever want, secured at the cost of the surrounding villages. Little wonder the people gathered at our doorstep, begging to work among the bonded. The free were blind to it all, of course, content to, as you say, wallow in indolence, in ignorance. Were I mayor, I would first take stock of the city's resources and see that they were assigned equitably. Our days of reckless consumption are behind us. The distinction between free and bonded died with Vorthree. The needs of rich and poor alike must be considered if our nation is to survive which end I would take steps to secure channels for supplies, rekindle relations with nearby settlements, who re-establish industry, reach out to neighboring nations, and the list goes on and on. But I am no ruler, nor even a politician. I am an entrepreneur. My expertise lie in planning and profit. I haven't the knowledge or experience to run a nation. Please, Rendon, will you not help me? Together, we could solve the city's problems. Build a Yulmore for the people. A Yulmore for the people? Uh, 
I'd rather like the sound of that. But before I offer you my counsel, I would be certain of your ability to perform the duties of office. You would? You ask me to help you solve Yulmore's problems, but first I would see you solve one on your own. Accomplish that, and you will prove both to me and the people that you are a man worth following.
Right. Right then. Uh, form a line and make for your more. That noise. Wicked White, run away, Talos. Call the guard. But of course I'm back. You didn't see. Yeah, <gasps> there is. I, I can't. <clears throat> oh, oh dear. Thank you. I'm sorry, my darling. It's just the sight of you filled me with such joy. I couldn't help myself. Oh, no, no, it, it's all right, dear. I, I should have just come out and said what it was I was intending instead of entrusting the task to a hastily scribbled letter. Does that mean you'll do it? Well, I'm here, aren't I? I mean, not, not, not that my absence signified any unwillingness, you understand? Oh, no, naught could be further from the truth. I only left to enlist the aid of the former mayor's senior advisor. And now that I have it, I believe I am ready to take office.
um <clears throat> Go on, dear. <coughs> Th thank you all for gathering here today. Uh, but before going any further, could I... could I ask the free citizens of Yulmor to look around? Tis a sight none of us would ever have seen under Lord Forthree's rule. Not only do we stand in the familiar presence of those we once called the Bonded, but today, we welcome the peoples of the Derelicts and Gate Town too. Today, we welcome the Warriors of Darkness, come to bear witness to Yulmor's new beginning. As you know, an election was recently held at the end of which I had the honor of being chosen to succeed Lord Vothry. You place great faith in me, and I promise to do my utmost to live up to your expectations, and I will seek always to carry out the duties of this office with integrity and fairness. Always, I say, but not forever. Let it be known that I do not intend to hold this post indefinitely. I consider myself but an acting mayor who will serve only for the interim, while Yulmor is reshaped according to a new set of values. No longer can we think of ourselves as divided, as the free and the bonded, citizens and non-citizens. The systems put in place by Lord Vorthry must be undone. But even as we tear down the old, we must give thought to the new, to what manner of nation Yulmor should become. Whatever the answer may be, it cannot be decided by one man alone. And so I propose that an open forum be held, that we might all discuss how best to strive towards a better future. However, there can be no talk of the morrow unless we first address the issues of today. Securing new sources of food, rebuilding relations with our neighbors, re-establishing industry. There is much and more that needs to be done. Too much for a mere man of business. And so I pledge instead to do everything in my power to ensure our city's security and stability while we all work together to see these problems solved. The road before us will not be easy, and I know full well how daunting the prospect of honest labor may seem to some of you. But we must accept the reality of our circumstances. We must move forward. This much we owe to ourselves and to the brave heroes who risked their lives to bring back the night. Once we have shored up our city's foundations and regained some semblance of normality, let us reconvene to speak of the future. 
Until then, I humbly ask that you lend me and each other your strength. For Yulmore!